When Lockheed's design team leader Clarence Kelly Johnson had the opportunity to interrogate pilots from the Korean War who had clashed with the Soviet MiG-15s, he realized that the MiGs surpassed the Allied planes both in terms of speed both as regards the angle of climb and also the tangency. Moreover, Allied pilots complained of too much heaviness of their planes so Johnson treasured from the information obtained programming the locked F-104. The Lockheed F-104 Starfighter is a single-engined high-performance supersonic aircraft, originally developed for the United States Air Force, USAF, as an interceptor fighter. This was a very important aircraft because it was one of the planes belonging to the so-called Century Series that is one of those aircraft that was built during the first and second generation of jet vehicles and operated from 1958 until 1969. The F-104 featured a radical wing design. Most jet fighters of the period used a swept wing or delta wing, which balanced aerodynamic performance. The Lockheed tests determined that the most efficient shape for high-speed supersonic flight was a very small and thin, straight, mid-mounted, trapezoidal wing. The new wing design was extremely thin, the wing's leading edges were so thin 016 in, that they were a hazard to ground crews. Hence, protective guards were installed on and during maintenance. The small, highly loaded wing caused an unacceptably high landing speed thus, designers developed a boundary layer control system, or BLCS, of high-pressure bleed air, which was blown over the trailing edge flaps to lower landing speeds by more than 30 knots and helped make landing safer. It was the first production aircraft to achieve Mach 2, and the first aircraft to reach an altitude of 100,000 feet after taking off under its own power. The Starfighter established world records for airspeed, altitude, and time to climb in 1958, becoming the first aircraft to hold all three simultaneously, but its sustained turn performance was poor. It was also the first aircraft to be equipped with the M61 Vulcan autocannon. The F-104 was designed to use the General Electric J-79 turbojet engine with performance allowing a maximum speed well in excess of Mach 2. The J-79 makes a particular howling sound at certain throttle settings. This strange feature led to the NASA-operated F-104B Starfighter, being named Howling Howland. In 1966 in Germany was tested a version of the f 104 l that was basically a F-104 that had a takeoff so to speak assisted by a powerful rocket its goal was to be able to launch in this type of aircraft as if they were missiles. It was November 21, 1981, and 80,000 people attended the event at Estrana Airport, it was a foggy day. The exciting challenge between Jill Villeneuve's Ferrari 126C and an F-104 Starfighter it was an acceleration race on the distance of about 1 km final result, Ferrari beat the jet in 16.55 seconds. The final production version, the F-104S, was an all-weather interceptor built by Air Italia for the Italian Air Force. It was retired from active service in 2004.